We ended our last video with 44,000 points and around a 2,180 total level, at rank 73 on the League Points leaderboard. In today's episode, we want to break the 50k threshold, and we're going to do that by maxing our first ever RuneScape account. Let's get into it. Bruh, I just got 92 smithing from fixing the one thing at Motherlord Mine. Alright. One of the biggest time grinds out of the way, we've now finally gotten ourselves full Prospector, which is a 100 point task, but it also unlocks a whole lot of stuff. Equip a full Prospector outfit, 100 points. It unlocks the Mole, it unlocks Falador Hard. It unlocks a whole lot of shit, so this grind was definitely worth it. And to be honest, we did a lot of it just AFK. Forgot I even had a tree here, that's 97 farming. I'm currently working on the Falador Diary, and I just had a tree here, so we'll take those levels. Okay, and that is the Falador Easy Diary done, and I just got a hard task done for the Falador one as well. We're doing it all right now. And that is the Hero's Quest done. I honestly probably should have done this earlier, because I need the Dragon Battle Axe to constantly boost my stats to 120. Um, but I'm just doing it now for the Falador Diary. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure if I could charge a glory, that's also a task. So let me go do that. There's a couple AGS specs on a blue dragon. Oh my god, it's 76. I'm only 115 strength. Say less. Um, that should be a task done? Yep, that's the hard task for Falador done. I only have two more tasks to do. There is charging a glory. It is 50 points right there. I just need to do Grim Tales now and craft a fruit basket, whatever that is. All right, and that is a fruit basket made, which is the last task we need to do for Falador. Now all I need to do is go equip this Dwarven Helmet in the mine or whatever, and that is the complete Falador Diary done. That's the hard Falador Diary done. I just got 150 points or 160 from doing the easy, medium, and the hard. And this now means we can go claim our XP lamps, which should boost our smithing even more. All right, that gives us the Falador Shield 4, and it gives us all these XP lamps that we're going to dump into smithing. I guess we should start with the lowest one. Um, 40k XP, 120k XP, maybe there, that was the so 240k XP, and then this is the big 800k one, if I'm not mistaken. That puts us to 93, almost 94 smithing. All right, and this should be the medium diary for our done done, if I am not mistaken. Yes, it is. We still need to do like two farming things for the hard one, and then we're done with it. So I think I need to go find myself a poison ivy seed. Dude, I'm at 58% and I've got the gout tuber. Easy game, bro. People have been going dry on this thing for hours. It's 100 points. It's the thing you need. There you go. Find a gout tuber, 100 points. And that lets me carry on with the Karamja diary. Okay, and that is the Karamja medium diary done. And we also only need one more task of Karamja hard done. And then we finish this diary too. I just need to become the champion of fight pits. So I just need someone to go die to me in the fight pits real quick. Okay, and this should be the hard Karamja diary done right there, giving us access to a bunch more lamps. And it's another 100 points as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, yep, it is. 43,730 points now, 73, the Bodhi number. Gonna finish up the Ardone diary once the tree finishes growing, but let's go cash in these XP lamps. Okay, let's cash in all of these little lamps on smithing. This should get us another level, maybe, to 94, maybe 95. Doubt 95, but it'll get us to 94. That's 94 smithing. Oh my god, it will get us to 95 because this is an 800k one. Oh, yes. Nice. Awesome. 95 smithing. That's our level for base uh, 95s. That's pretty sick. I didn't even expect to get that far. Okay, and this is going to be the Ardon Diary completely completed so we can go get our points after that. But 100 points just there. 44.8k. And let's go get all that smithing XP. Okay, let's claim our Ardon Cape 4 as well as all our lamps, which we can now just use to get ourselves our smithing even higher. I think it'll get us to 96, maybe close to 97. I can do the Varok Diary eventually too once I get all the kudos. And I can do the Lumber Diary once I figure out how to get 100 tiers of Guthix without failing, because I tried that and I got like 74, because I suck. Um, that puts me up to 96 smithing, and I'll just dump the rest of this on the XP too. Now we're going to be working on base 95s, and the first thing we're going to be working on is prayer now it's like a thousand four hundred bones or something like that from 80 to 95 prayer all in the ecto so that's a lot of time i don't know if we're going to do it all right now it's a lot it's a lot of effort but it's the hardest one to do construction uh rune crafting crafting normally thieving you know this this is all stuff we can easily do there's not really a huge time period on it the prayer however is going to be a big task so we're just going to go assign ourselves some fossil and wyverns because eventually i also need to get an ancient wyvern shield and if by some stroke of pure luck I get that, then we'll start doing Mythal Dragons because I need to get a Dragon Full Home too, as well as a DFS. The Fossil Island Wyverns also drop uh, fossils, which I need to get kudos. So it's all like, you know, two birds and one stone type thing, some efficiency type shit. Let's get ourselves to Wyverns. Okay, so I'm currently making extended anti-fires to go do Fossil Islands, uh, Wyverns, and eventually Mythal Dragons with it. And I'm just getting mad quick 1.7k XP drops. I could be doing it faster, but I'm scared I'm going to misclick my anti-fires and drink them, and I don't want to waste it. This is going to be some really nice herb lore XP, and I need to get 95 and 99 eventually anyway. 
And we've got a bunch of herbs from all the TOB we've been doing. I think we've got TOB, like more TOB done than anyone else really competing for the top page ranks because they've all been doing other stuff. So I think that's going to really help me out with stuff like this. And eventually, long term, obviously, it's going to help me regardless. I just got a granite longsword from splitting wyverns. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, I was kind of hoping it was a task, but it isn't. Rest in peace. Okay, so complete 100 Slayer Toss. I didn't even know I was about to hit that, but that is 100 points right there, putting me up to 44.9k. Okay, and I just got 350 points for doing floor 4 and floor 5 of the Hallowed Sepulchre level of Parker. And that gives me 350 points, putting me over 45,000 points. Now, this shit is pretty terrible to learn. And the only reason I can, I've can i even got these tasks done is because you don't actually have to complete it in the time it gives you. You just have to get to the floor and you can do as many attempts as you want. Now, there are more tasks to do with this, and there actually is a speedrun task as well, which I think is a master task, if I'm not mistaken. And I also have to get all the rewards. So I am going to have to come back here eventually and learn how to do it properly. But for now, that's free 350 points. I'll take it. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the large display finished. Yes, it is, which puts me up to 144 kudos. Okay, so that puts me up to 144 kudos. And now if I do Hazel's Cult and Temple of Ikov, that puts me up to 154 kudos, which unlocks Volcanic Mine, which is a 250 point toss for me, which is very nice. Can't be bothered to do that right now. I'm in the bones grind, so it is what it is. But that is very nice. 100, 893, uh, what's it called? Fossil Island Wyverns we killed for all this. Bunch of prayer XP in that. Uh, about like 20% of the drop rate for an ancient ancient wyvern shield thingy majiggy too. Eventually we do need to get that because that's points as well. But yeah, it is what it is. Putting all these lamps into smithing XP, we're almost 97 smithing. I'm now going to start assigning myself mithril dragon toss because there is a dragon full helm task as well. And I need to get 600 dragon bones and it also gives me mithril bars to smithing. So it's like a three in one sort of thing. Prayer, smithing and a dragon full helm. It's good. All right, I'm going to get duly noted, which will allow the Mythal Dragons to drop them all in banknote form, which just allows me to stay there a little bit longer. And I also want to extend my Mythal Dragons task. I don't know if that's a thing. I really hope it's a thing. I really myth- Oh my god, Jagex. You're cringer than I am. But I have unlocked duly noted, and I really myth you. <laughs> Let's go do some fucking Myth Dragon toss. It is what it is. A Vissy! I just got a Vissy! I just got a Vissy! I swear I just got a Vissy, dude. This is my first Myth Dragon kill. This is my first- Oh my god, dude. That's my first myth dragon kill and I get a Vissy, bro. I wasn't even recording the drop, bro. I'm freaking out. Oh my god, I just got a Vissy. How do I even make this into a thingy majiggy, dude? If you guys have been enjoying my League's progress videos, please consider subscribing as it is the best way to support me as well as making sure you guys never miss a video. Over 60% of you guys aren't subscribed and I'm still going extremely hard this League, so it would be greatly appreciated. Let's get on with the video. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to give me 500 points because I get 250 from making it this into a DFS. I'm fairly sure. I don't know how long this takes. We might be here a while. Yep, 250 points for Smith and a Dragonfire Shield. And I think wielding it is another 250 points. 500 points just like that. And that was the first kill of my Myth Dragon toss. That puts us up to 50 or 45,780 points. Let's go. All right, that is 95 prayer banks from just wyverns and myth dragons, 1,538 mithril bars. You can see we have a bunch of wyvern bone meal, dragon bone meal, and then some more dragon bones to use. Let's check how many chewed bones we got from that. 10 exactly. Now the drop rate for the dragon full helm, like I said, is one in 82. So honestly, using these 10 chewed bones isn't the worst chance at getting a dragon full helm, which is 250 points. And all of these myth bars is smithing XP as well. So I was really efficient, I think. I'm gonna go use these 10 chewed bones now before I do anything else, because if I get lucky, I get lucky. Let's go have a look. At 10 chewed bones, please aren't G gods bless us. Okay, last chewed bones. Didn't get too lucky unless I get it right here. Um, that's going to be 11 chewed bones out of the 82 drop rate. Obviously, we can't get it on. We don't have to get it with an 82. We could go a little bit unluckier for it. Unfortunately, no dragon full helm, but we're going to come back to myth dragons anyway. I think I'm going to do my 99 prayer through that as well. So we'll see. We have to get it eventually. Okay, using Last Recall, getting the Bone Meal is actually super easy, and getting the Buckets of Slime is going to be super easy too. You can see I've got all this Wyvern and Dragon Bone Meal. Now I'm just going to go buy myself, I don't know, like 1.6k worth of Buckets of Slime? Now it's extremely easy to do this too, you just buy 10, and if you exit the shop and reopen the shop, it restocks completely so I can get a full inventory. All I got to do is teleport to Camelot, and because I have the calendar and Diary completed, it takes me right here, I can bank all these Buckets of Slime at... Jesus, okay, that's on X. That's a little bit awkward. Use the uh, little crystal hack, and I'm back. So I'm just going to do this real quick and get a bunch of buckets of slime. Okay, that's 14,000. Wait, uh, 14, no, uh, 1,475 buckets of slime and a bunch of wyvern and dragon bone meal. Let's get on the prayer. 
Okay, and this should be 81 prayer right here. I'm not gonna record every single level, but we're gonna go all the way to 95, I think. And that is 90 prayer for base 90s, but we're going all the way to 95 for base 95s. Base 90s, 250 points. Base 95s is 500 points. So that's 750 points right there that I'm working towards. I'm also gonna get some level 99s as well. So we're gonna fly up today. Okay, and this should be 94 prayer. We've honestly done this really quickly. Last recall is extremely overpowered. 94 prayer gives us 2.2k total which is another 250 points, there it is. And now I'm only 77 levels away, I think. I hope that's the correct number, away from a max cape. Let's do this. Okay, turns out my calculation sucked because I'm 100k off my level and I'm out of bones, I think. Yeah, holy fuck. Okay, I have a bunch of big bones. I guess I'm just gonna bury them. I just got another Vissy, dude. I'm back here getting my bones for 95 prayer and I just got a second Vissy. Obviously, I don't even need, need this. It's one of the most rarest drops on the game and I've got a second Fizzy, dude. Oh my god, people are going to be so mad at me. Okay, and this right here should be 95 prayer. There was a system update, so I went and got myself some gems for crafting later, but we are back. Finishing this up, we do have to get 99 eventually, but I don't want to get it right now. We'll do that later. We can get 99 other things first. That is 95 prey. Very, very nice. We're 125 combat now as well. When I get 126, that's another 250. This is the herb tab. I don't know what levels are in this tab, but this is going to be 93 herb. We're rushing 99. We need to get 95 for base uh, 95s anyway, but... If we can get to 99 now, we're just going to do it. We're going to sit here, clean all these herbs, and make all the potions we can make. Okay, and that is 95 herbal. We're going to keep going until we run out of supplies, though. Okay, and this should be 96 herbal right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to push these last three levels, but I'm going to try. Okay, 97 herbal. I think we might actually be able to push 99. I'm not sure. And that is 98 herbal. A little bit of a scenery change because I need to get some lava scale shards for these extended antifires. I do think I can get this level 99. I'm pretty much all out of herbs, but there is a little, like, thing going on where I can make one dose restores into four dose sand fuse. And I have a bunch of restores, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually not that many, but we'll see, we'll see. So a little botanist hack is the fact that a super restorer actually counts as a secondary for Sanfi serums. So, one, one dose of super restore can make four doses of Sanfi serum, like so. And I get the full XP for it, and that is 99 herbore, like that. So quick and easy, I made 300 four dose restores into 1.2k restore dose ones and i've just been making sound fuse it's like a little dupe i don't know what it is but it's within the game rules it's allowed it's intended i guess 99 herb lore 250 points and that's a fuck ton of sound fuse when it can be bothered to make them all it's a lot of spam clicking we're now at 46,280 points all right and that was 91 thieving i'm now here at the rd knights i don't know if i'm gonna go all the way to 99 i feel like i might as well i might as well it's really fast xp an hour so i might just be here until 99 thieving i need to get base 95s but I am working on max too, and 99 in any skill is 250 points, so I feel like I might as well just get 99. Alright, and believe it or not, I actually decided to go all the way to 99. I am rushing max anyway, so it's something I have to do, and there it is. Reaching level 99, giving me 250 points. I think I can go get 99 farming now as well, maybe I'll be a little bit off. But I'm now at 46,530 points. The road to max is real. We can do construction, we can do, uh, what's it called, rune crafting. We have all that bank. The only things we really need to work on would be agility. Crafting, I don't really have any supplies for, and we need four more uh, prayer levels too. Fire making we've got, and smithing I think we've got. Okay, this should be 98 farming right here, just off this magic tree. Yes, it is. Okay, we're 420k XP off 99 farming, and we have mahogany's planted, and I could just plant more magics as well, so I'm gonna get this level within like the next two hours probably. Okay, I've spent the past hour, two hours, three hours, I don't know, time's a blur to be getting all of these planks made. The cash stack has been depleted, but this is 99 construction banked right there, and we're gonna get started on it in just a second. I just wanna go cash in 99 farming real quick. Okay, this right here should be like 220k XP, which means we only need one more of our magic trees to be alive. Okay, and this is gonna be 99 farming right here. This magic tree is alive, very nice. That gives me another 250 points and is another level that gets us closer to maxing. Okay, and this is 90 construction. I know people say that construction is one of the quickest skills to train even on the main game, but man, I just hate it, bro. I've hated it so much, I've taken breaks to go do agility. Imagine that. I prefer an agility over construction. Okay, and this right here should be 99 construction. The cash stack has gone from a very nice 4 mil to, well, 189k, but that is another 250 points and we've just reached level 99 construction. 2241 total level. We've still got fire making to do, rune craft to do bit of agility crafting and of course prayer is the big one okay and this should be hazel's cult complete which actually gives me five kudos it doesn't have any other use for me pretty much now if i go to temple of icol that's another five kudos 
and that unlocks 153 kudos for me and it unlocks the volcanic mine and it lets me finish the hard varok diary which gives me even more xp lamps to use on smithing okay and this should be temple of ikov done which is our final quest we need to get 153 kudos from the varok museum finishing up the entire varok diary for us let's go do that real quick Okay, talk to this guy. Some information about his displays. Come on, jump me up to 154 kudos. Do it for me. 149 and 154. Very nice. Now, I think I just need to go talk to the boy Orlando Smith. And there we go. A hard task in Varric done. And that's the Var hard Varric diary done for 100 points. I think we've completed it now, if I'm not mistaken. We have. Let's go cash in this stuff. Okay, good old Toby. I think this will just get me to 98 smithing or just very close to it, if I'm not mistaken. There's a bunch of lamps I'm about to get. Let's rub this. Smithing. 800k XP. And I think this will get me just close to 98 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 35k off 98. Yup. And we got a bunch of myth bars in the bank. I don't know if it'll get us all the way to 99, but it should get us pretty close. Okay, and that is 98 smithing. I do think I have enough bars in the bank to get 99, or I'll get very, very close. And this should be 99 smithing right here. Another 99 added to the collection. 2,244 total level now, and that is another 250 points. Also gives us, this, us the smithing cape. Very nice. We're at 47,480 right now. I think I'm just going to go bang out this agility level because I'm only one agility level off 99. Probably do it at Ardone because I need to get marks of grace for uh, whatever that set is called. A graceful set, that's what it's called. Let's go do that. Okay, well, I was watching Eviescape do raids and I didn't even realize. I just hit 99 agility, which is, I don't, why did I click up? I just got 99 agility. I'm done here for a little bit. But um, I just got another 250 points, 47,730 points, 99 agility. I think um, it's time to work on runecrafting. Okay, this could possibly be 99 runecrafting, but also possibly not. Oh, it wasn't. I didn't even have my XP drops on, man. I'm a noob. But yeah, we've been here for maybe four hours since I left thieving, just doing ZMI. It's probably You could have probably done it quicker, but I'm really bad and I've taken breaks and I've gotten bored because I figured out I hate runecrafting, even doing this hack method. But... From 80 to 99 in about 4 hours. Can't really complain. And that is 99 Runecraft. We take those 250 points. I think now we're at 47,730. Or is that update to anything? Oh no, okay, that's what we're already at. Oh no, 47,980. So we're almost at 48k. The next thing I need to do is 99 fire making. And when I get my fire making up, I get points from base 90s and from base 95s when I eventually hit it. I do have a bunch of teak logs in the bank, which I could use. But instead... I'm on some EHP shit again with some efficiency. I'm gonna go do mole because there is tasks and that's the whole reason I got the Falador diary done. Let me just uh, look at what tasks I'm talking about. 250 mole, 500 mole, 750 mole, and these actually drop U logs. And once I get 3000 U logs from mole, I can do my 99 fire making. So we are delaying the level a bit, but it's long-term efficiency. Okay, and that is 100 mole kills and another U logs drop. This is going a lot better than I thought. I'm on 100 kills and I've got 1.1k U logs. So I guess 3k kill or 300 kills and I should have 3k by average. I, let's see. We'll see. Okay, so I've randomly found the gem store at Tazar. It's fully stocked in every single world. It's 5.41 p.m. in New Zealand. I don't know what's going on. But I'm having to abuse this right now. I need to get my 99 crafting. Okay, so unfortunately our luck at the gem store did run out. We got around 2k gems in that time though, so I can't really complain. And I think I've got myself about 1.2 mil XP in sapphires, 600k in emeralds, 350k in rubies, and 170k in diamonds. Um, it's a little, maybe about 2 mil crafting XP. I'm at 8.5 mil. That'll get me to 10.5 mil XP. Still a lot. It still helps me towards 13 mil. And we'll try and come back here again after multi at the rest of the gems. But I think we just got really lucky here. Okay, we just got another U logs drop on our 249th kill. We get 250 points for this 250th kill. Uh, we have 2.4k U logs realistically. I do want 600 more to get 99 fire making. And I do have to get 500 mole kills eventually. And also 750 mole kills eventually. And there it is, 250 points at 48,230 now. However, I'm going to stay here until I get those uh, 600 more U logs because even though it's taking a little bit longer to get the level, it saves time realistically because I have to get more mole kills anyway and I have to get my fire making up anyway to 25 mil so getting more u logs from this is beneficial to us so we're just gonna keep doing it okay and that is another u logs drop putting me up to 2900 technically I could do one more kill and get 3000 but this will get me close enough to the level and I have teak logs I want to go move on I want to try the gem store again for some crafting if I can't get any gems I'm just gonna bang out this level Okay, so I really got blessed with a full Tazar gem store today. I've got 3,000 sapphires, 1,000 emeralds, 500 rubies, 250 diamonds. I'm 94 crafting, and I don't have gold bars, so I'm just going to be straight up cutting them. And I think this should be enough to get me to 99. I really got blessed. 
Okay, that's 95 crafting. We're gonna go all the way to 99. And this right here is 99 crafting purely from cutting gems all the way from 94. We do in fact take those 48,480 points now and we can now move on to 99 fire making. And that is 90 fire making, which gives us another 250 points for base level 90s. I also get base level 95s and five more levels, which is 500 points. That put us up to 48,730. 95 fire making will put me even more above. That is 95 fire making, which is another master toss completed because I'm now base level 95s in everything. I am 2270 total. That puts me up to 49,230 points. And when we max, we're gonna be over 50,000 points. Did run out of U logs, but we had the teaks as backup. And this is 99 fire making, putting us three levels away from max. All we have to do now is prayer. We are at 49,000. Update, please update. Update, game. Oh, there you go. 49,480 points. That was a little bit awkward. Cannot lie. But three more levels now. We're going to make our way to Myth Dragons. We need around 600 Dragon Bones. It would be quicker to do something else, but I also need a chance at the Dragon Full Home. And um, it also gives me Myth Bars for 25 mil smithing. So it's just the most efficient thing to do. 2274 total level. 49,500 points. All right, so we've done about 300 bones so far, and I've just got my 10th chewed bone drop. I want to go see if I can get a little bit lucky and get myself Dragon Full Home. So let's go check. Shit game! Mithril grapples, bro. We've been at it a while, my brain is pretty fried, but that is 624 dragon bones, which we still have to grind up into bone meal and buy buckets of slime for, but that is 99 prayer bank. We are gonna do that right now. We are maxing today, we're getting these last three levels. But first, we have nine chewed bones to go. It'll get us about 30 kill count on the thingy majiggy to get the dragon full helm. I'm really hoping we can get it because I'm not looking forward to coming back to miss otherwise. So let's see how this goes. Okay, let's go. We've got nine of these pyrocytes to make. Okay, this is my final chewed bone. Not looking too lucky. 30 KC on it. Like I said, it's a 1 in 82 drop rate. So, I mean, we can get lucky. It's not that far-fetched to get it, but I don't think we're getting it considering we're on our last chewed bone. It is what it is. We have to come back to Myth eventually. We do need to get 25 mil prayer and 25 mil smithing, so I guess we can do it. And it'll still be nice to do. It's just slow kills that I'm not looking forward to. Anyway, let's go get this 99 prayer. Okay, and I think these are all my bones for 99 prayer grinded and put into pots of bone meal. Let's go check how many we have. I think we also bought all the buckets of slime, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So we have 633 buckets of slime and we have 625 dragon bone meal. We're just going to go spam this really quickly and get ourselves these prayer levels. Okay, and this right here is going to be 98 prayer, putting us to 126 combat and giving us another 250 points. Let's just keep spam clicking until it happens. And there it is, 126 combat, 250 points earned. We are now at 49,730 points. One more prey level till we're maxed. I've seemed to have messed up my calculations again because I'm 66k off the level. And I'm out of bones. Um, interesting. Okay, so I am 240 prey XP off this level 99 and off maxing. Now you may see a problem. I've only got 1.6 mil cash in my inventory. Which means we have duplicate rapiers in our inventory too. And I think you guys know what's about to happen. It's going to be slightly painful. But we're saying bye to the Grazi rapier. And now we have 4.6 mil cash. We already have another one, guys. Don't stress. It's an Iron Man temporary game mode. I'm probably going to be alkin all my dupes eventually because I just need cash, right? For the scythe and stuff like that. And now we can buy our max capes. Okay, what's up, Mac? I'm going to borrow this bone, which is going to get me to max total. And that is max total on the Trailblazer League. Let's buy this stuff. Got some maxing, my little prodigy. Okay, and that is our first one. I'm going to buy another one real quick. Okay, and this would be my, my second cape. What is the point of getting a max cape if you can't have it in for all max cape? We don't know. We don't want no cheese capes around here. So there we go. Nice. Let's put that on. Use that on that. And that is a max cape on Trailblazer League as well as over 50,000 points. We're on 50,480 points. Now, the first thing I want to do is give credit where credit is due. Coming into this league as a PKer, I basically knew nothing about the rest of the game. I first of all want to give a big shout out to Maz, who's right there, who has helped me plan for this league for over a month before it started. He's been making videos and two, and he actually maxed a whole day before me despite us doing similar things. So a link to his maxing video is linked in the description. Go show him some love. Secondly, a big shout out to Eviescape, another YouTuber and a close friend of mine. I came to him about three days before the league started asking him to learn TOB. And he took me along, no questions asked, and he's the only reason why I've been able to get any kill count on the league at all in TOB. His latest video is also linked in the description. Go show him some love. And that is where I'm going to end off today's video. 50k points 
and a max cape. We are now rank 40 on the league leaderboards and we are only going to climb from here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.